Fashbano, Halen here from the Knights. Welcome to my home in Australia, beautiful Newcastle. Pole is a clothing line dedicated to a diverse range of women. We're independent and we can show that we're strong women and because we can smash people better than boys. <laughs> this is rubbish, all I'm doing is your fouls. You promised me to teach me karate. We've got a long history of success here at the Knights, but it's not only us making our mark on the game. We're keeping it fresh with the women and women's rugby league comp. Uh. Ups and downs, smiles and frowns, the world go round and round. He ain't stopping now, so keep pushing. I ain't worried about a hater, but I see him looking. Going up like an elevator, now I'm cooking. I ain't really have much. Home to home all alone, man, it's bad luck. But it's gonna change like change, watch it add up. Cause you know, I didn't choose this is my world. Hi, I'm Isha. And I'm Alice, and we're here at the Women's Rugby League Tournament. And out of who? Give it up fast! Let's go! It's good to have a women's league because we're independent and we can show that we're strong women and because we can smash people better than boys. If they love rugby league, this will be the start of a long journey into their womanhood. The opportunity is there for them now where it hasn't been in the past. So it's about they're making the most of an opportunity, you know, it's um, a growth sport. It's got pathways and opportunities for them to travel and represent their country. It empowers women because women have a lot of stereotypes. As a woman can't do things that men can't do, which is false. Whenever we get new girls coming into a sport that's obviously contact, there's a lot of nerves. And just watching their confidence grow within themselves as people, within a team environment, among other girls, that's what team sport's all about. And if we can give the opportunity that men have had for such a long time to women, and I can be a part of that, maybe that that's the best part of it. Uh, um, it's a cool way for girls to get out and get active, and I think sometimes there's a misconception that it's just for the men, but it's definitely not the case. Um, it's really cool to see all the girls out, and the game's growing, as you can see around us. There's heaps and heaps of women playing the game, so I think it's just real great that they're all out and about doing something. We are Richmond Roses! <laughs> Just um, being there for my sisters, playing for my sisters. Yeah, that's, Putting all that's on what the it's all about, yeah. Sisterhood. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was just the first hit out. Like, when you all went on kickoff, like, first person that takes the ball, uh, that's, after that hit out, it's just nerves are gone. It's like you're in the game, you're focused, and you just... Yeah, the best oh. to avoid getting bumped off is to step them. No, you get it. Them. You go like... <laughs> Best way to avoid getting hit, uh, run anywhere but towards the forwards. Uh, they're normally the ones that are laying the big hits out, but um, yeah. Never plant your feet when you're going in for a tackle. Yeah, don't be flat footed otherwise. Uh, just jump on the ground, <laughs> save yourself and drop. <laughs> so to avoid being stepped as bare for their legs or their hips because if they get put on the hips, they're like, oh my legs. <laughs> Most embarrassing thing <laughs> is someone pulling my pants. <laughs> but I had shorts on, so it was alright. Like I had two shorts on. Yeah. The most embarrassing thing that happened to me today was, whoa, when I got concussed by Grace's fat head. <laughs> the game for one player and then Grace's big <laughs> fat head, thinking of divine. Um, so yeah, I feel women's rugby league is pretty important just because, just I mean, they, they always play when they're younger and then they, they get to their age where it used to be they just couldn't play anymore, so, you know, have to go to netball and other things, but having these younger grades now where they can keep on playing is pretty amazing, so...
So my name is Mary Son Orso. I'm Nora Tumalu. And our brand is Fo. Fo is a um, clothing line dedicated to um, a diverse range of women, women from all walks of life. Bringing in that Pacific edge. And bringing out that confidence too, eh? Yeah. yeah. Our range is inspired by our, you know, our parents, our what ancestors, and obviously with the Elys as well. <laughs> it might get hot out there, so. <laughs> I work in an environment that's um, quite business-like, and um, when they ask me to wear business clothes, I don't do that. I try and influence the public sector with our patterns, and I think that's, um, yeah, that's what yeah. inspires me to challenge the status quo with our wear. Normalise like, yeah. this. Like, why can't we have an LA jacket at Glasson's? Exactly. You know, why can't we see it in the more a Pacific store with our patterns and our stories? And, and it's just yeah. like using our natural fabrics, natural resources. And it's a learning process for us. Like, yeah. you're going to see that there are sort of synthetic materials as well. But I guess for us, it's been the learning that's been quite important um, to go back to those sustainable practices that um, our people are, uh, are known for. So that's why we try to feature it in as much as we could. And, and actually, um, in actual fact, colour is a lot easier to yeah, make into actual. clothes than normal material sometimes. We're quite confident with our brand, and so we're looking forward to empower women to, to be different, to wear something that's a bit out of the box. Yeah. Stay with us after the break, Fano, as I take you into my world. I reckon it's probably the most comfortable I've felt somewhere in a long time, and, and I love it here. Dan. Dead. Dan Dead. So, guess what? I do stand up comedy. You mean stand up? No, no, no. I, I, I stand up comedy. Stand up. I can't. Stand it when you tell me what I should do or what I should. Stand it, me. Tēnā koe freshies. Ko Newcastle toku kaina, ko Knights toku kapa. Welcome to my world. And for those who haven't seen this young man play, prodigious talent. For me being a young Māori living in New Zealand for a few years, I think when Benji Marshall was at his prime, I don't think anyone could look past him. Yeah, he's probably the main one for me growing up, the one that I looked up to, and this is Step, which was just amazing to me. I was born in Australia. I spent my early days in Queensland, then I moved over to New Zealand, moved back to Australia for basically the start of high school. My first game of rugby league was a bit of a torture. It didn't go as planned and we ended up losing like 56 to 6. Soon afterwards it was all it was all positive, so. Watch me turn up in it. I don't do it too often. If I do pull it off, I like a long ball. Missing two players or one player, it always looks good on TV, so. A big right foot step on someone and they break their ankles, that looks good. A big shot, I've never actually done one. A big hit, yeah. <laughs> I've never done one before, but it's a move that I might be able to pull out in the six jersey, so. Welcome, this is the glass house. As we know, it's our relaxation room. We've got a bit going on, TV, we had the Super Bowl on last year, the boys are getting a bit rowdy. So in the mornings we get, every morning we get breakfast. It's healthy, but we get it for, for free, so the boys are laughing. But yeah, that's pretty much our little space. Just get away from all the coaches and the physios and watch TV, chill out and eat some food. This is a good song. This is a dance floor as well, should I add? I reckon it's... 
probably the most comfortable I've felt somewhere in a long time, and, and I love it here. It's got everything you need, like the beach, there's good food around, there's always something going on. So for me and, and my family, it's definitely an enjoyable place to live. Boys are themselves still, like, we, we, that's what our culture is about as well. You express yourself, who you are on the field, and, and that's how you get the best out of yourself. So, um, but yeah, we've got some freshies in the team. Big Jimmy Gave, uh, new recruit to the Newcastle Knights. Jimmy, mate, how you finding it? Um, it's, <laughs> it's really good to be here. I just want to get close. Beautiful place to be. I think the club is heading in the right direction. Yeah. So, yeah, Thanks to our man here. Some big Thanks. things. I'm James, this is Kaylin, and we're keeping it fresh. In Newcastle. You. <laughs> Welcome, guys. This is our gym, where our forwards think they're better than us little backs, but that's all right. We never used to have the artwork that's on the wall. There are moments last year that I guess proud of, like a lot of the boys are happy in these scenes, and, and that's what we're trying to create in here, just a, a good environment. There's a few mirrors around. Unfortunately, the boys like to get in front of them and, and tense up, show their biceps up, so. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> we should probably take those down. We've got our dumbbells. The light ones are down here, the heavy ones are here. That's where I usually hang out, right here. After 55 kgs, that's warm up. We keep our gym sessions quite intense and compact. The boys get in, do their work, do their job, and then get out on the footy field. For my old man, being mouldy, he was very proud. To do the family proud like that, he was very emotional. So it was, it was awesome to put the jersey on for him and, and represent my culture. For me, I've always wanted to play at the highest level. In my eyes, the Queensland jersey is one of the highest levels of professional sport, and I got to do that pretty early in my career. I thought it would take me a few more years than what it did. I was just excited to get out there, and it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, to be honest. This is a bit of a memorabilia wall for the Knights. Some of the greats of the club, some of the greats of the game. What we're trying to build, we're trying to get back, and we want to do the city proud. And Joey Johns, Andrew Johns, lifting that trophy is pretty inspiring, so it's something that uh, I want to do and the team definitely wants to do. What we've got here is two premiership trophies that the Knights have won in the past. Uh, there's a big vacant spot here. Uh, there's a lot of hard work to get done before we get to put something there, but yeah, this is what's been done, um, and hopefully this is what can be done. I read a book the other day that said you are a product of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you're spending your time with bad influences, you know, your chances of making it in the big league are probably low. For me, my family, and I've always had friends that encouraged me, supported me. That's probably why I've given myself the chance to be where I am today. So my advice is just keep your family close, friends that you do have, make sure that they support you. And yeah, and that'll, that'll keep you on the right track, keep you driven, so. Welcome back, Freshies. Let's take a look back in time as we explore our Pacific past. Sunday, 20th of June, 1774. On this day, Captain James Cook arrived upon Niue. Except it wasn't called Niue then. Captain Cook and his crew aboard the Endeavour were still discovering that stuff. Stuff the Lapita or Polynesians had known for ages. Stuff like these islands already had names and people who already lived on some of them and how to sail around the world without dying of scurvy already. Yeah, eat some fruit and vegetables. Mm -hmm. These days, Niue is affectionately known as The Rock, and it's pretty much what Cook and his crew came across. To say the least, first encounters were less than friendly, for the Niueans, not foreign to visitors and their foreign diseases, went into defense mode and tried to make themselves look as scary as possible, which wasn't easy since Niueans are so handsome. What? Nobody really knows what happened on the Opahi Reef that day. Cook reckons there was a bit of a scuffle, and thankfully, they only had to fire their muskets in the air. A shaken up Cook was resigned to name the rock Savage Island and moved on. As for the Nguyen's, well, they celebrated repelling the foreigners with their foreign diseases. But more importantly, they celebrated being able to go back to being their handsome selves. What? A Nguyen? On this day. This is 
is rubbish. All I'm doing is your fouls. You promised me to teach me karate. Zyla, phone. Zyla phone. Don't worry, shush. There's no signs. Hello, what's the sign over there? It says, Sally Phones, you go home eat. It's fresh things like my fresh steps. Coming up next. I've been bullied all my life. So I decided to learn. Karate. Hey, what's up, Mr. Miyagi? I've just been a salon in the driveway, just like you see. The whole thing? What? You salo the whole thing? Rubbish. All I'm doing is your fouls. You promised me to teach me karate. Hey, can you? You learned so much. All I've learned is how to settle the floor, vacuum the house, and wash the dishes. Hey, that's the all in way. You want to know the thing? That doesn't even make sense. What thing? So me settle the floor. What? So me settle the floor. Why full of epic? Inside the house? No, no. Show me full of epic. Show me to the back end. Stand floor. We're full of epic. It's one of the back end. It's a sound floor. Now you know the thing. So, I think I'm ready, Mr. Miyangi. You want to be a master? Yeah, more than anything, just like you. Okay. There's a special move yeah. that my master gave to me. Master Mikaele Taksongi. This this sounds like Michael Jackson. No, no, no. This is a special move. And now I give to you. Okay. You want a name? Yeah, please. Stan Lee. Yeah. Now what you doing? Put a knee and knee. Yeah. Kick a front. Okay. Blocker. Pussy. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. This is And then. That's the one. Now you are ready. Thank you, Mas. Thank you. Oh, you. Oh. Before you came, I've got a present for you. For you? For me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. When the time comes for you, I want to open it. Thank you very much, Meza. Master. Meza. Master. Meza. Master. Meza. Master. 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 What's happened? Somebody punched me in the face. Remember me? And your stick moves that don't even work. You remember me? Did you do the salu? Of course I did the salu on the floor. I did the salu. For full of I fooled the hippo. I just have a vacuum. I, I did the vacuum first. I did it. Hey, Rap. Did you do space for me? The one you punch out? I did the punch. Hey. Remember? Yeah, I did the hippo. Your stink jacket, your stink moves don't work in a fight. 
for it. I feel your thoughts are the say so. Hello, for love, my freshies. I'm sending out for GAE, Felcher, and a thousand welcomes to Dublin, Ireland. Hi, Mum! Well, that's us for this week, Fano. I hope you enjoyed your time here in beautiful Newcastle with me and the Knights. I'll see you at game time. Keep it fresh. This is his name's um, Knight. <laughs> he um, guards our castle here in Newcastle. Uh, he's doing a good job here. He's just, you know, looking scary. He's one of those ones where if you touch him, you, you'll get in trouble. You know, the ones that just stand still. So that's what he's doing. His name's Knight. Yeah, so this is not. <laughs> Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.